yay Sunday stream. What's up, everybody? Hello, hello. What's up, Archetype? How you doing, dude? What's up, Void? FW, hi, hello. Hi, Luke. Soran, you're freaking me already, bro. What the heck? Uh, what's up, Mark? What's up, Pumi? What's up, Ahmed? How you doing, dude? What's up, Odin? What's up, Red? What's up, Zach? It is Tap Tap Sunday, dude. What's up, DWC? Thank you so much for the nine months, dude. That's a stream, baby. Uh, what is semi-transparent keycaps in the VOD with the Akuma? Hey. Um... Do you mean the polycarbonate ones from KBD fans? I don't know if those are live yet. Alex, I need to go grab, I need to go, wait, what? Alex, I need a go birds right now. Oh, is it, is it football again today? Um, Listen, I don't know if they're a good or bad team, but we'll just do it for uh, Nimbus, go birds, I guess. Literally know nothing about sports. Main, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, dude. Love you, dude, and appreciate you. I got shipping noti for my Shelby. That's huge. Hopefully you don't have any uh, duties or anything on that. Any tips on what to go for? Either a JW or a J01. Oh God, I have, dude, I have the hiccups. I hate when I get them when I start stream. I can go like days without them. And then the moment I start stream, I get them. Maybe I'm just nervous. Um, I would pick the J01 to be honest with you. Uh, the irons, actually the iron 180 is not terrible. I know that the uh, blockers I've heard, hold your breath, it never works for me. I've heard the blockers on the Iron 180 are a little, eh, um, like they're oddly shaped. So, could be a thing. Dude, I need a haircut so bad. So nice. Damn. Hey Alex, thank you so much for your tier one, dude. Uh, but I would personally pick out the JO one. The Iron 180 was also a bit stiffer and felt like the gaskets were a bit too compressed. So, Verm, thank you so much for the three months, dude. I appreciate it. Alex, thank you so much for your 14 months. Grow it out? Nah, dude. Flyback, thank you so much for the two months, bro. Dude, Ooh, if I grow months. it out, I go through the awkward phase of the sides. I think the only way I can realistically grow it out right now is if I shave it all off and start from fresh. Like, start from scratch. Uh, <coughs> God, dude. The cough still hasn't gone away. Nick, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. Nanu, thank you so much for the 28 months. With the best keep streamer, bro, that's you. Come on, please. Um, from what I figured, the JL1 is a better keyboard out there. Yeah, I think the JL1's great. How can I contact you through email? Oh, uh, I think it's just on my web. Do the website for him. I, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I've been really, really busy the last like two days. What's up, Alex? I thought yesterday I would have more of a day to do things, but it's like family things, then we did other things. And by the time we got home, it was like 11 o'clock. So, bro, honestly, I lost I lost track of my day yesterday so hard. Keyboard, thank you so much for your prime, dude. Daddy Mech with the haughty Minerva. It is pretty hot. I have an idea what keycaps that we'll use. With the best sure. cave streamer. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that again, Nanu. Damn, 28 months, bro. Uh, and Maximus, thank you. And Mark, thank you so much, bro. Uh, it's better to start Wait, it's better to start king on top, to be honest. You mean like letting this grow out? I don't know, man. It'd be so awkward. So nice. If in uh, your own preference- With a haughty Minerva, let's go. <laughs> he does have a haughty Minerva. Uh, in your own preference, would you prefer the new or the January? Um, Different feeling keyboards. One's gasket, one is O-ring. I think I would prefer, both are amazing keyboards. I like O-ring mount a little bit more. So I would personally probably pick the O-ring mode. Gotta take advantage of September while I still can. Oh yeah, it's September still. I, I keep forgetting about that. I don't even know how, if it even affects you guys for like tier one subs and stuff. I have no idea. Please do a mullet. You know, I've always kind of wanted one, but I don't think no one will like it. I think I think I want one, but nobody else does. Damn TTSTSTSTS 18th month. I don't know why that was like a little bit disturbing. The the th part, I don't know why that was. Thank you so much again though, Mark. What's going on, dude? 
Good afternoon, Mr. Toast. What's going on, dude? I won a Virgo spot and picked up a beige. Mmm. The eco is great. I mean, it's very rare that ecos are bad. Um, usually they're the more, I don't know, color accurate slash nicer coats uh, compared to Anno sometimes. But I mean, it's an eco. It looked good. Elk right, thank you so much for your prime. And Tinfoil, thank you so much for your tier one too, dude. Rock a radial fade? What's a radial fade? Is I'm assuming that's some sort of circle. This is what I want to get rid of here. I don't like when this starts to grow out. Grab a teak Virgo. Oh, the teak was nice. I'm, uh, I, I, dude, there, there needs to be more brown slash keyboards like that. Like that color is too good, dude. Literally too good. What is this? Oh, this is the plastic part. I took this out of something the other day. Archetype. Rock a radial dude. fade into a V taper, kind of like <sighs> a half mullet. Wait, you have to show me a picture of that tinfoil. Archetype, thank you so much for the 10 tier ones, bro. Please, dude. All right, we already unboxed this. We're gonna take another little look at this right now. We already unboxed this. Also, I built the zoom on YouTube. Damn, very, very impressed by this. Archetype, thank you again, bro. Um, Love this color. I believe, Archetype, just to be clear, I think this is Heritage, right? This is not the other yellow. I think the other yellow was called what? Hold on, I, I have it right here. Was this Amber or Heritage? Only reason I ask is I honestly, A, don't remember, and they kind of look very similar, so I wanted just to be sure. <coughs> this is Heritage with raw brass. Okay, perfect. I think the brass works really nice with this. I don't think I would personally pick another color. This looks great. I love this design of the uh, weight on the bottom. Love it. This is a, actually a really fun color combo as well. This is the Ultum top with the aluminum and then the brass. Has some really interesting pieces in this board. I'm not too sure if you guys can see it. Well, you guys can, but these are where those gaskets are. Well, here, here, and here. And we'll see. The finish looks pretty good on this, but Archetype said the finish will be even better on the Ultem. Um, I know this is, it's hard to even see. I don't think you guys will even see this on stream, but it does have some, um, I guess not inconsistencies, but it'll probably, apparently be even better. Honestly, I think that's crazy. The board is really pretty. We'll do a full workup of it. It's a really pretty board. Nice little seam over here. So then you also have what's really cool. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see this nicely. Do you see how this has like a little taper? It raises up. So it has like a raised bezel and then tapers down into the keyboard. That's a nice little finish, finished aspect as well of this. Kind of gives it a little bit more of like a, a frame over here. Really, really nice. Uh, GMK Lux, that's what I was thinking too. This is just a raw finish. GB will have a, a finer sandblasting. Okay. He he literally explained that to me and I'm just like, I was looking at it before stream and I'm like, this already looks pretty good to me. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, GMK Lux today? I think so though. Uh, opinions on the Mode 80? I think the Mode 80 is good. Oh God. Dude, why is it when I start stream, I feel like I got allergies. Maybe it's just room. I don't know what it is. Potential is high with GMK Lux. Thank you guys all so much for the subs. I really appreciate it, guys. Jeez. I think you guys hit the level five hype train. That's crazy. Aco Jelly White. I haven't tried those yet, Potato. So I can't give you much of anything on that. Like, I don't know. Also, forged carbon fiber plate today. Very excited to see this. Our archetype, are these custom screws as well? If so, what do they say? I can't really see. Do they say archetype? Oh, they do say archetype. Damn, that's cool. Allergic to chat? Never, dude. Zilch, thank you so much for the bit, dude. All right, what uh, bit do I need? I'm gonna take this apart. What bit do I need for this? Hmm. I will find out here in a second. Custom screws, we are just testing it. Yes, they say archetype, perfect. My eyes have not, I need to, I think I need to go for another checkup soon. How your, how's your eyesight been guys? Big Red, thank you so much for your prime, dude. Thank you, thank you. Dude, my eyesight's been, I don't know, it feels like it's kind of off again. Also, I busted out, dude, I, I'm actually really considering putting this keycap on, my uh, pink, my pink uh, zoom. This is the archetype uh, Valentine's Day that says mount me. I think this will go great on the Zoom. 
<laughs> yeah, I think this will be, huh? I think this will be great on the Zoom, dude. What? Ayo? It's, it's a, it's a Sunday, but it can be a sussy Sunday. Thoughts about the potato? I just answered you. I don't know if you're listening, but I don't know anything about those switches. Uh, so you'd have to make your own judgment call on those. Thank you, Chozo. Twenty fifteen vision. I don't know. A lot of people tell me I should try doing the what's it called the LASIK eye surgery. I, I don't know, man. I, I I literally am like too nervous for that. I I think that's something I th I think I would panic during that whole operation. Like I I honestly think anxiety would get the best of me during that. So I I don't know if that's something that I can even consider. LASIK stream. Ah oh, man, I would. I wouldn't even want to stream it to you guys. I think I think I would just be a baby the entire time. Just get lasers blasting your eyes. Yeah, easy, dude. Just get lasers done. Easy peasy. Look at the inside of this, by the way. God, I have hiccups now. Dude, they're not going away. Takes like 30 seconds per eye. That is exactly 30 seconds per eye more than I want to deal with. Dude, I don't know. It freaks me out. I got LASIK and I was definitely afraid when they started. 100% worth it afterwards. That's what everyone tells me too. What was the healing process on that like, Kumo? Did it take a while? Where's my little tray here? I don't want to lose these screws. I'll give you guys uh, some spins here. I definitely agree. Ah, freaks me out though. Man. I had LASIK, it was great until my eyes decided to change them back to glasses. Wait, that can happen? They can change back? Oh, I think YouTube's still tied to this. So if you guys see subscription notifications that are really loud, it's because YouTube's still tied to the sub parts. Uh, do they slice your eyes? No, I think that's a different procedure. I don't know exactly. I think that's a different procedure. Yeah, dude, we hit 50k subs on um, on YouTube. Here's the inside of this, by the way. I love this color, by the way. This is nice. This is definitely different. I can definitely see myself getting used to this particular color. Look at the inside here, though, guys. I think this is where the cool part is. See these, um, is this considered teal? These light green gaskets? Check these out, guys. Check this out. So these are the gaskets that are gonna be put inside. And I absolutely, did I just drop one? I think I just totally dropped one. I think it fell down on the other side of my desk. Okay, I'll go get it later. Um, it fell down off the opposite side. Look at these. Look at these, dude. Did it drop? I think it did. Yeah. Gosh, I have to go find it and fish it up from behind. So these are kind of like what we saw on the KBD fans boards, these big gaskets, but these are a lot like a lot wider. There is different durometers gonna be, uh, I believe included with this as well. So what's nice too is they even say like bottom and top, so you can even see where they're, I don't know if you guys can even see that on the camera, but they'll say bottom and top. Uh, very, very cool though, I like this a lot. This is a, definitely a cool idea. Oh, camera, hello? Okay, let me just quickly go fish out where the one dropped. Pick it up, here's your toes. I don't even know where it dropped. I think it fell behind my camera stand. So give me one sec. Yep, behind my camera stand. A note about gaskets, these are made in-house, but GB will produce via injection molding and factory. That sounds good. We'll take these off for now. Very, very cool. And there's the forged carbon fiber plate. Always like these. Carbon fiber does sound a lot like FR4 to me. I understand there's a subtle difference that some people talk about. Although to me, sometimes I don't feel that. I believe these are other durometer gaskets. 
We also have an FR4 plate, which we're not gonna use today, and I believe, I think it's just another PCB. Or this is the PCB, rather? This is the PCB. We have our PCB. Yeah, chop these things off. It does have some flesh cuts. I, I've heard sound tests of the board already. It doesn't seem like this thins out the alphas, but they are quite large. But we'll see how this all sounds. And we have our daughter board. Now, just grabbing the rest of the stuff here. <sighs> carbon fiber is just cool. What does carbon fiber even mean? Uh, carbon fiber is a different material. It's like a really, I believe like high durability, very lightweight material. What is the keyboard? This is called the Minerva. And we have these which go on the back. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think GMK Lux would look really cool with this. With these little accent badges here on the, the back. Oh, that's kind of cool, okay. And then we have a different durometer of gasket. I'm not too sure what durometers these compared to these are, uh, or what kind of anything these are, but I'll ask Archetype right now. All right, let's take a look at this. Where's the daughter board? It's daughter board in here. There was a time that Chozo. the pieces fit, but I watched them fall away. Mildewed and smoldering, strangled by our coveting. I've done the math enough to know the dangers of our second guessing. Doomed to crumble unless we grow, and strengthen our communication. Chozo, I don't know what that's from. I think it's from a song, but I'm gonna be honest. Jo Chozo probably hates me right now, but I actually don't know where that's from. Gray is 15, teal is 40. I recommend the 40 on the outsides. Interesting. All right, let's put these guys here in. What a loser, bro, I don't know. He doesn't know Tool, bro. I listened to Tool a long ass time ago, but I don't remember. Also, um, I guess another question for you, Archetype. I know there's no pre like done spots for the feet. Do you recommend I not put silicone feet on the bottom out of curiosity? Cause I know some keyboards actually, I've listened to Tool. Not all of Tool's stuff though. Very, very select songs. I wasn't like huge into Tool. No feet gang. Tool is great, but mesmerizing lines is peak nerd shit. <laughs> it, I mean, I'm fine with people mem mesmerizing, memorizing lines. It's fine. I just don't remember. I know all of Linkin Park off the top of my head. That I know for sure. Uh, we originally designed it without feet on purpose, but decided to add feet. GB version will press uh, have press fit feet. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you know what I want to do? I want to try the no feet first. Also, look at this daughter board. So this is was this designed by Wolf? Love this, by the way. I really, really like how this daughter board is still a JST connector, so it's still nice like that. But it has this like flat cable over here instead of it having like a circled cable. Uh, and then kind of creating this like impo like impossible to have channel sometimes that, so this is kind of nice, this is cool. I like this a lot. Uh, Lincoln Park is so, dude, Lincoln Park's amazing. Flat cable, massive W, yeah, it's huge. To me, that's a big deal. Never thought I could find a daughter board hot. Price range, I don't know if Archetype's updated this, but I think it's roughly about $500 in and around that range. Did I miss a compliment? Yeah, I love Chester, dude. Chester was awesome. Keyboard. <laughs> if you were a keyboard, you'd be you'd be my perfect keyboard, all right? You'd have the perfect switches, perfect stabilizers, the perfect keycaps, because you're perfect. Uh, starting at around 470, yeah. Yeah, I never got lucky enough to see Linkin Park in concert. It was just one of those things I, I never got around to doing and I literally regret not trying. Honestly regret. Oh, and I forgot to get some stabs today. We'll use some stabies or something. Did you see the purple PC case? I looked at all the colors. There are so many colors, by the way. Fave Lincoln Park song. Um, I have a few. I think Faint might still, I know this is not the most popular Lincoln Park song, but Faint, I love Faint for some reason. Um, I. I know that a lot of stuff on Meteora was more popular than Faint, but I thought Faint was like the best song on Meteora. I don't know why. I really, really thought Faint was the best. 
Faint has something about it. Yeah, it was just fun to listen to. Well, let me get some stabs. In the end, in the end's a great too. I think in the end's a very classic Linkin Park song. Best clacky switches, anything long pole, literally anything long pole will give you good clackiness. Four year old me rapping in the end with something else. Uh, yeah, I just think Linkin Park was just one of those amazing, amazing, just, I don't know, they brought a lot of joy to me and I've just always liked them. Can we, I'm gonna throw this out right now. Put that to the side, we can do this. We're using these honey switches, by the way. This will be really cool to go with this. <clears throat> and let's put this guy, let me screw this guy up for now. All my gear will be exclamation point kit, just to make it easy. <clears throat> honey switches for the amber, yeah. Honey switches from? Oh, shit, you guys are asking me. I think, what are they called? Is it like something with a B? Hold on. He literally linked me this stuff, but it was a shop I don't normally shop from. Um, they are from Kibi. KibiShop.com. Like key and then B. Shop. The specs on the switches, I'll give you here in a second. Paper cut. Somewhere I Belong, Faint, uh, were my favorites from Meteora. Uh, fun fact, oh wait, Yuri raided it. Yuri, thank you so much for the raid, dude. How was your, how was your, uh, how was your stream, dude? What'd you do? Thank you so much again, man. How was your stream? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the Ultim Top's looking beautiful. Oh, you know why my stream might be a little too bright today? One second. I didn't close my blinds. <sighs> Thoughts on the core 60, uh, I need to look at that again, Joe. Joe, I don't, I don't really remember. Do the honey switches get stuck? That was pretty, I mean, I understood the joke. I got, I, I got it, I picked it up. Uh, this board probably has the best color options I've seen on any board this year. Yeah, I agree. It has some pretty solid color options. Let's actually put this like this and move this over to the side. I do agree though. I think the color options on this board are probably some of the best I've seen. Like hands down. This we can move off to the side as well and we'll do our stabs. It's cause you're in the room. You're the sun in my eye, the twinkle to my shine. You're the sweetness in my honey. The moment you're grown. Thanks Burbs. There were definitely some killer boards this year. I think the nicest Anno I've seen this year had to be on the Akuma. That purple on the Akuma, like so far that I've seen in hand, the Akuma had probably one of the nicer coats of like beautiful, beautiful Anno that I've seen all year. My God, that was so unique. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of honey, I had a baklava butter tart yesterday. It was insane. Butter tarts are just insane. I haven't had a butter tart in a while. Yeah, the purple and the Akuma was something else. So nice. Still here, BTW. Plug. Thanks, dude. I appreciate the 14 months, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Apparently, the Akuma only ran for an hour? I don't know why that is. It's such a short amount of time to run a group by. Do we have enough? Yes, we do. It's a 65, right? What's the PCB look like for compatibility here? Oh, we have split support on the PCB. Okay. Split backspace. Uh, no ISO support. Is there gonna be ISO support at all, Archetype? And then we have some lots of space bars, lots of bottom row, no split left, but we do have uh, step caps. Not to shill, but we have a collab coming up with Honey. Oh, with the Akuma. What the fuck, that looks amazing. Click Archetype's link, guys. Would you choose Rose or Tungsten? Um, fuck. 
That's so hard. It depends on the board. I, I think like the majority of um majority of keyboards I would probably pick roses. But I mean like there's certain keyboards where yes, I do feel like um I don't know. Yeah, there are certain keyboards where, yeah, I do feel like long pull switches can really save a keyboard that maybe is a little bit too quiet. But it's not every single keyboard, right? Like, some keyboards are a bit different. So, it depends. It really depends. Really, really does. All right. So that let's grab our brush and let's start painting on our stabilizers here. Uh, KTT switches, I roses, I believe, are not long pull, at least they don't feel like it, they're a bit more subdued. I don't think they are, maybe I'm wrong. Wait, am I wrong? KTT roses are not long pull, right? I don't think they are. If I'm wrong, I'll be very sad about myself right now. They aren't, I thought they were. I'm pretty sure they're not, they don't feel like a long pull switch. They're, they don't really have a, they are not long pull. Okay, you guys are literally telling me 50-50 split on different things. KTT roses. Mm. I mean, they have a four millimeter total travel. Doesn't say anything about if they're long pull or anything. I don't think they are, guys. Are they semi long? Yeah, they could be just a, a long, longer but not like as long as some of the other ones are. I don't think they are. Yeah, I don't think they are, guys. Whew, dude, I thought this entire time, I was like, bro, if I'm wrong here, this is not gonna look good. Cause they don't, <laughs> you know what keyboard, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I don't know if it's the right time to hear it. I don't know if it's the right time right now, guy. Uh, speaking of long poles, thoughts on the Affion Blue Skies? Can't say I've tried them yet. So nice. Thank you, Grave. I appreciate the tier one, dude. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing today? T Tungstens are long pole, yes. They're very much so a long pole switch. Those I know for a fact are. Wait, who? Is that Affion a new brand? Maybe I've tried a few of their switches already. <laughs> Is that like new? As long as the keyboard can let me search CBAT uh, song on YouTube, I'm fine. I think you're a, an easy person to please. <clears throat> yes, roses are super cheap. If you guys were ever looking for a very, very cost-effective switch, they are insanely cost-effective. Long pull is relative. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll say, sure. Outworks, how you doing, dude? Uh, they make matcha lattes and moon switches. Oh, really? Okay, that I didn't know. Wait, have you haven't heard about the CBAT song meme? No, I have not. What is that? Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like with today's culture, it's not like there's one overarching meme that goes on and everyone knows about it. There's like memes and stuff. Tell me, am I wrong on this? There's not just like one meme that everyone's kind of on. I think back in the day, there was like one meme. Now I feel like there's, there's, there's one meme, but there's also like all these other sub memes that you have to keep track of too. I don't know, man. There's too many memes now, too many jokes. It's hard, it's literally hard to keep track of everything. Digital Bob, thank you so much for the bits, dude. You're just getting old, bro. Don't say that. Blueberry chiffon. Oh yeah, okay, so that, I remember the name Affion on those. The blueberry chiffons are actually really nice. <sighs> One does not simply say there's no umbrella meme. I think, the, is, is the umbrella meme right now not the corn kid? The, I like corn. Too many memes for real, only Zoomers that are permanently online can keep up with them. Yeah, I actually agree with that. Like the meme of the curve screams, man heard about that one a couple weeks ago and just can't keep up. There's, like I said, too many memes. Corn is so yesterday. Dude, that's actually so sad that the lifespan of memes now are like a week. Actually crazy. 
memes rely whether uh, memes that rely on other memes to be funny. There's that too, yeah. Uh, basically, a guy on Reddit said he'd play a song called CBAT. Oh, that thing that beep 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 beep. beep. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't to me. That was like literally not funny though. I, I remember watching all the the TikTok videos about it, and I'm just like, I don't. Like, it's not that funny. Like, it, it didn't really like kill me, you know? I, you know, I didn't mind the corn kid. I thought he was pretty funny. Cause it's just a lot of passion you saw, you know, and people were making songs and stuff out of it. I preferred that one there over the CBAT song one though. The sheer absurdity was the big deal, I guess. But do you guys actually believe that? Do you guys actually believe that's a real thing? Dude, I certainly do not think that's a real thing. Yeah, I don't, it's definitely not real. That was definitely made up. Therefore, it's just not as funny to me. The uh, story blew up and the family found out. So what, what was real? There's no way that was real. The dude who made CBAT had some bangers. Damn, Alex, uh, having a convo about corn. I, I'm really into corn. Corn's a, when you grill it, dude, it, when you put corn on the cob, actually top tier. Gonna go eat, sounds good, tinfoil. But don't you think even the follow-up post might've been made up? There's a high chance that someone used that song. I don't know, man. I, I get what you're saying, like, statistically. But, like, it's just such an absurd thing. And I think even the fact that, like, the significant other was just, like, dealing with it for so long and then decided to, like, to, you know, get upset about it or something just also feels a little bit weird to me. Take care, Omni. I don't know. Anyways. I miss old memes, bro. Old memes are way more funny. Also, did they change up Instagram's freaking thing again? Instagram feels like it's just so hard to like get to posts that you wanna see. It feels like they, they changed it back to like, they did this thing where they changed it so reels got pushed and sponsored posts got pushed and you couldn't see photos and stuff and they, they reverted it, but I feel like they changed it back. And I can't, it's so bad. Like literally my algorithm now is just sponsored content. It's people I don't even follow. And it's just, it's kind of shitty. I feel like I hate it, you know? Yeah, that's all I've been, dude, I do the exact same thing, Prod. I go on for people's stories and I leave. Because I don't want to have to scroll through all this shit. I, I booted up Vero, but Vero, I don't know. I don't like the UI of it. It's not my thing. Social media is bad, I'll touch grass. You know, I was I was doing something with my parents yes, yesterday, was it yesterday? And on the way there, I wanted to walk up the stairs. And in front of me, and, and, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not being judgmental. I, I guess I kinda am being judgmental a little bit, but like, I don't mean it in a negative way. In front of me, there was like, I don't know, 10 people walking up the stairs. Durky, thank you so much for the prime, bro. I appreciate that. And everyone is walking up so slowly. And everyone was just glued, like all the people were just glued to their phones, slowly taking steps up so they didn't trip because they had to be on their cell phones. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, man, like, what really can be that, like, do all eight people have something that pressing that while they're walking up a flight of stairs, they need to walk, you know, like, so slowly just to, so they can pay attention and not trip to their phone? Like, can't they, what can't wait till you get to the top of the stairs to move over to the side and stop for a second? And it, I remember thinking, I'm just like, it wasn't even, fun. like, it was, yes, it's frustrating, but it's like, it's also kind of sad, man. It's, it's just kind of sad too. It's just like, dude, I don't, cause I don't need that like level of like glued to my phone. In fact, most of the day, like my phone is not with me unless I'm watching something on it. 
outside of social media, like maybe a video or something like that on Netflix or some shit like that. But like, just to show you guys something real quick. Um, for example, I have 97 missed messages on my text. I just, I'm not really a social media person. Like, look, 1,300 on Discord, stuff like that. I'm not really a social media person when it comes to like, or not social media rather, but just like phone person. That's what I'm more trying to say. So to me, it's just, it's just crazy. It's crazy how we can, how, how glued some people are all unread. My screen time is very low. Majority, it's probably TikTok while I'm in bed. Cause I'm just bored in bed or something like that, you know? Or like, we're sitting on the couch watching TikToks, me and my girlfriend. Nah, honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me none. Like the little red badge doesn't bug me none. But yeah, it's, it's crazy. I don't know, man. It, again, just, it's crazy to me. Absolutely wild. How am I doing? I'm doing good, Lero. How are you? You didn't get my 500 cast. Dude, no, I might've missed the casserole recipes. Might have missed that, my friend. And don't forget, guys, I work on social media. Like, that's my literal job. Is there a way to see screen time? I'm actually curious. Can I see screen time? Screen time. Hey, just so you guys are aware, daily average, 28 minutes. And that's up from last week by 84%. Daily, that's daily average. Well, how do you go see all activity? Is there a way to see week? No, it's the same thing. Daily average, 28 minutes. It lasts all day because I don't use it. The arrow is pointing down. Oh, is it down from last week? How do you go back a week? This is total screen time. And there are days I watched a movie and stuff on my phone. <laughs> yeah, and there are also, yeah. So here's another one. Let me read off this to you. This one here is an hour and 52 minutes. However, majority of it is literally me playing a video game on my phone in bed. That's it. That's literally all it is. <laughs> literally video games in, in bed. <laughs> it's, it's just, I don't know, man. I feel like when I'm out, I want to enjoy being out rather than be glued to my phone. That, that's all I'm saying. I know everyone's different and I respect that. To I totally understand, but I'm, uh, I'm very much Potswist Alex. This is Alex's burner? No, I only have one cell. I'm at 113, which is like four hours less than it was a few months ago. I, I, here's my thing. I honestly have been in, I think a long time ago, I'm gonna say long five years ago, my time per day. So nice. 17 months with the most positive Bro. and wholesome streamer, also the most glorious mustache. Less than three. Andre, thank you, Andre, thank you so much. I appreciate the 17 months, dude. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate that, dude. Um, I think five months ago, my average is probably like six hours on my phone. I'm not even kidding you. I'll be glued to it. And then I just, I don't know. I just couldn't do it anymore, man. I got burnt out from being on my phone too much. And I've, I've completely changed. I, I think that was also adding to what was making me feel so shitty about myself was being on my cell phone all day. And now that I'm not on my cell phone all day, I'll be on my computer. Yeah, doing work and stuff, but where the fuck's my dielectric piece? Oh, I'm just gonna use up the, the other stuff that we have. Is there even anything left? It's crazy. It's crazy the, uh, the difference in mental that it's caused me, you know? My mental has definitely been up since my phone has been down. Honestly, the less time I spend reading social media or any media for that matter, I'm overall happy. Yeah, I agree. I agree, man. Again, it's not gonna work for everyone. It's definitely not for everyone. It's not like something that's gonna be everyone's cup of tea and all that kind of stuff. But I just feel like it's a very common thing 
that can make people feel a lot better. And I know, for, exa for example, on Saturday, I probably had high usage because I was recording like my niece, just doing things because we it was her birthday and we were just having like a birthday party. So that's probably it. That's probably the only reason it was higher. Space Cables, Mr. Reagan, how are you doing today? There's a lot of emotional spikes on social media show, uh, showing you overly sad and happy things back to back. That's that too, for sure. I'm good, how are you? Reagan, what's your daily average on your phone? Like how much are you spending online social media? Not, I'm, I'm trying to like also kind of factor in like, yes, we play some of those games while we're in bed or something, but. Uh, she's my phone for contacting family music. Yeah, and there's nothing bad with using your phone, guys. I'm just saying that like, I've found personally a correlation with me using it more and me being more like, not in the great, greatest of mood. Four hours and 30 minutes a day. For a business owner though, that kind of makes sense. You're the reason my screen time is up, watching your streams and VODs on my phone. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Again, I think there is a difference though between consuming like media and doing it and having like actual entertainment rather than like being glued to like the screen of, for example, Twitter or something like that. Yes, it can be entertaining, but I do think there are a lot of, like someone said, a lot of spikes between what you're seeing and a lot of the times, including Twitch though, we'll actually lump in Twitch to this too. You are seeing a lot of people's like best moments which can be a lot, a lot of, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's bad too. You can't just spend your entire life looking at only like the good things of what's happening to people because then something bad happens and it just feels even worse. The pink one, that's the Zoom 65. Dude, listen to the Zoom 65 for a second. Look how good this turned out. We did this on YouTube actually. We did a, a YouTube stream for this. It actually turned out pretty good. Uh, Wu Chase switches. I, I'm very, very surprised with it. Again, considering price point and all that jazz, very surprised. Um, no, we actually used mid plate foam, so I didn't have any issues with the plate bowing. But still, very, very surprised. I was, I was impressed by it. It was a, a nice little keyboard. Bag of marbles, yeah. Mindlessly scrolling or doom scrolling? Yeah, that's more what I'm getting at. I think like the mindless scrolling, the doom scrolling where you get so consumed by it. Again, everyone's different. I don't want to like harp on anything negative. Like, yes, there could be something important you need to get to. You know, conversations could be happening. I just, I don't know. When I'm out lately, if there is a conversation that needs to happen, they can wait till I get home. Urgency for me lately has just been like, eh. Someone can call me rather than me texting people back and forth. But I've, I've always felt that way. Always. <clears throat> Canadian winters. <laughs> you should really try Tofu R2. I, I have been, con not considering, I have been um, wanting to do a Tofu build for a YouTube video like a tutorial on something very accessible that's not gonna be insanely pricey. Although I think tofus can get pricey still, but that is definitely on my list. Uh, back to OG Alex keyboard, bro, RGB. Ah, dude, the RGB phase. Still a very big thing, by the way, guys. It's crazy. Whenever I do any RGB content, anything, if I post RGB video, numbers up. Everyone's sharing it. Everyone wants to show people the numbers of like, or the show people the post of RGB stuff. Then I post something that I feel like, punk. thank you. I appreciate that zero too. I show anyone who's like, or show people off like, I don't know, a keyboard's a bit more subtle and think something that I might like more. Fucking nothing, dude. It's crazy how like RGB, yeah, definitely affects views too. It's wild to me, man. Colorful lights.
Yeah, the shiny stuff. For sure, dude. People love shiny stuff. I have no lights on. I can't do it anymore, man. RGB is just out of my, like... I don't... I guess I don't mind it here and there. Like, I like the rainbow colors on polycarbonate keyboards. That looks cool. But I think that's it. Like, no more lights along the edge of my desk. I'm done with that. I think that's even... No LEDs nowhere other than my LED sign. That's it. I actually want a regular-ass lamp in my room. Does that mean I'm growing up? Whenever we'll include two uh, perky RGB, RGB case, RGB, RGBs, huh? Wait. Archetype, are you including um, UV LEDs or, or, or at least selling those as an optional piece? Because I remember reading that you mentioned that some people can put uh, UV LEDs um, on the escape and I think one other key. So it can like help illuminate UV reactive keycaps. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I have I wouldn't even know the first place to buy those things. Consider a monitor light if you need a desk lamp. I don't want know if I don't know if I've do I want to put something above my monitor, dude. I, that's another thing I've been so at like. Contention about is I don't know what monitor to buy. I really don't. Yeah, I saw the LED uh, stuff there. I saw the through hole pieces for that. UV LEDs will ship with the board. Oh, that's sick. That is actually really cool. So you have UV LEDs will come with the board too, guys. I'll send some out to you. I would love those. I'll install those in a heartbeat. UV LEDs kind of lit. Yeah, because I have a few keycaps that would be cool for that. All right, these are in. We'll test them right now. We'll put the plate on. Nice forged carbon fiber. Ooh, that's already looking pretty interesting. Get our switches. Stats on the switches are 62 gram springs, it looks like. Mixed PC top, nylon bottom, UPM, uh, UPE stem. For anyone curious. Yeah, I, it just, you know what it feels like right now? It feels like in the monitor world or in that monitor techie world, it feels like no matter what purchase I'm making, I'm already buying old tech. You know what I mean? Won't UV cause yellowing in certain plastics? That is something that I wouldn't know too much about, but maybe Archetype can maybe fill some in, uh, fill us in on that. It does, it does sound vaguely familiar. Are we doing GMK Lux today? I think we are, right? That would look sweet on this. PC tech is moving too fast. Yeah, and it feels like no matter what monitor I want, it feels like I'm making a bad decision. And I don't like that feeling. We'll slap on this. Okay, we'll do Lux. I don't love that feeling of no matter, like my choices being like a bad decision, but I guess it's kind of like it comes with tech, right? Monitor tech is kind of weird, yeah. What's up, whoa, how you doing, dude? Wow, Thank you so much for 20 months. Someday, Technically can, but I also don't recommend you running UV LEDs uh, all the time in your environment. That's true too. Uh, where did I put luck? Give me a sec, guys, so I can find, figure out where I put it. Oh, it's right here. We put them in monster gear cases, which actually work with the current well, actually, no, they don't work anymore. They, they were working with the old um, bandoliers, but they don't work anymore. They're all out of order. Lux is lit for this. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what spec you need and what budget? For which one? Sorry. We'll tune them up just ever so slightly here in a bit. Not right now. Still waiting for an affordable OLED? Yep. Here's the thing though, Roboto, from what I understand, there is gonna be no such thing as an affordable mini LED monitor anytime in the future. Just based off of sheer like, 
expenses to make mini LED from what I understand and from what I was told. So apparently mini LED will never be quote affordable, which is, I guess, kind of shitty. Um, but apparently it's more expensive to make than OLED, believe it or not. Again, from my understanding of what people inside the tech community have told me. TCL has gotten mini LED TVs around to $900. That's the other thing that blows my mind is why gaming monitors and like just computer monitors are always so much more expensive than TV stuff. But from what I understand, it's just color accuracy and stuff like that. Uh, do you prefer TX or Stabies? You know, I've been more into the Stabies lately, but TX are great too. I just find TX sometimes have like a subtle scratch that I don't love. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do, I said let's not do it now, but let's just do it now. Uh, and refresh rate, that's true too. TV doesn't care nearly as much as latency. That's also very true, good point. Very good point. And that's the, that's the thing, I still don't know what monitor to buy. So right now I'm still in that crossroads of, I don't know. I honestly am not sure. And then do you know the other thing too that stopped me from buying a monitor? I was gonna buy that Alienware OLED. Then I read on the Alienware OLED forums because I've, I've made this mistake in the past. So I read problems. I just Googled like problems with that model of whatever the model number is. Cause you know, it's like 15 different characters long. Apparently one of the big problems about the uh, OLED uh, panel that ships with Alienware is the panel itself is great. However, Dell slash Alienware decided to ship the panel with bubble wrap that has a chemical coating that actually eats away at the coating on the screen. And it's not like you can just wipe it away. And people are still reporting that being an issue despite Dell saying they fixed it. And it's just like, do I want to take that chance? That is hilarious. Just crazy to me, man. It's just crazy to me. And apparently they're not gonna put some sort of uh, covering on the monitor to prevent that. Huge oversight. Yeah, I, I don't I don't wanna take the gamble. It's a lot of money. I know you can always get a refund, but it's just, it's just a process and that's, that's time, you know? Hire me, Dell? Yeah, there you go. There's your next uh, packaging designer. I want 4K 120 Hertz with mini LED or OLED with great color accuracy that isn't like five grand. And that's the other thing too. If you want, I guess, all the latest features, you are paying a lot. Yeah, we're using a forged carbon plate. Uh, these are honey switches. They look really nice. Look at that. Look how pretty these things are. So here's the thing. I also kind of, you know what Zilch, uh, Zilch just said or Zilch just said? He said he wants 4K 120 mini LED or OLED. Exactly what I want with color accuracy. But it just feels like that's a hundred, that's, that's like 5K. That's 5K and I, again, I don't know if I want to spend 5K. Perfect match for the case. Again, I agree with that, honestly. I really want to zoom 65, but I have an icky. Um. Dude, why do, why do you want to zoom out of curiosity? I guess we can try to figure out why you want one first. Really theme built today between color and the case switches and Jim K Lux on top of it. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful little build today. OLED mini LED is gonna be money. Yep. So it's not Amber, it's um, Heritage. Amber is a probably a bit more yellow, would you say? Archetype? I, I haven't seen the Amber color in person but I'm assuming it's a bit more yellow or maybe a bit more orange. Well, Heritage might be a bit more subdued in saturation from what I'm seeing on the website. But again, I wanna let Archetype have the final say here. I did see the OLED Odyssey G8 
That might be a bit big for what I want though. Cause that's what, the, the big widescreen one, right? Old's gonna have different lifespans for colors. Blues die out sooner than other colors. I've heard about that as well. <sighs> that's why the monitor market's so difficult to navigate right now. I feel like it's just tough. Your positivity is contagious, my dude. Thank you for being you. Tossy, I appreciate you, dude. Thank you for being you. But we all have our moments when we're not positive and just negative and stuff like that. So remember that I'm not like this all the time. Heritage is you, Tim Top, dark gray and no bottom. Oh yes, it's the overall color scheme. My bad archetype. I keep thinking it's like literally ever like amber would be the e what e beige um, bottom. I think it looks more saturated on the thing because of the e white. So my bad. It, this is the ultim top with the uh, dark gray. So it probably looks like that on the photo because of the satur or the white reflecting through it. Better point. Normal ultra wide. Do I want another ultra wide though? I got rid of my last ultra wide. Actually, yeah, that's probably the best way to describe it then. E white probably shows more color because the reflection. Realistic, thank you so much for your prime, dude. Thank you, dude, I appreciate it. The top makes me want to use uh, Ultex picks again. Do it. Ultra wide master race. Mm. I don't know. Thank you again, though, Realistic Duck. I appreciate your prime here, dude. I don't know. That's the thing. If I get a ultra wide, I think I just might scrap this monitor because I, I don't know. Whoa. Even the one monitor right now, I have a 20, I have one single 27 inch monitor. And I feel like this is even too big. And even though I want a second one, I don't know where, like, do I want to be looking to this side? Do I want it here, but then my camera's here? Do I want it on top? I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's the other thing too, right? I have no idea. I've been so happy with just one monitor, but it is getting a little older now. I have a Keychron Q1, but the Jairus 65 is so tempting. Do the Flexus gaskets feel better than the Q1's gasket now? Um, I think you'll probably get the exact same feeling out of them. I just think the Q1 has like a very particular sound signature. While the Jairus can be tweaked a lot more, I feel, than the uh, Q1. Easily tweaked with stuff inside the box. No need for third party stuff. Damn, these are really pretty switches. These are really, these are really pretty. Look at this. I'm torn between two 27s and one ultra wide. I think maybe that's where my decision truly lies. Do I want one big ultra wide or do I want maybe two 24s? I don't know, man. This is why I hate this monitor decision process. Fuck it. I, it's like the worst thing. I honestly don't even know what I want. I hate this decision process. Sweet switches, sweet like honey, right? Do you guys get my joke? Because they're honey switches? Please tell me yes, please laugh. The same recently, that's why I can empathize? Yeah, tough. My cable management's meh at best. It's not bad, but it's not, it's not good. It's not like everything's wrapped up nice, you know, nice and neat, tightly wrapped up. All right. Let's get our soldering iron warmed up. Your smile is as sweet as honey, bro. Thank you, dude, appreciate you. No, bro, I see people use 42 inch TVs as monitors. I don't get how. That is humongous to me. Because I, then I feel like I'd have to mount, mount the monitor like two more feet back. <laughs> to me, that's too big. Just now realized it's 60% uh, with a macro, not 65. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's just a little bit too consuming of space. 
Yeah, and I don't have a deep desk, Frank. Yeah, I guess that's where my problem lies as well. I don't know when my brushes fell. I also don't have a deep desk. And I don't plan on swapping the desk anytime soon. Linus has a 42 inch monitor? Damn, that is that. That's too big for me, man. All right, let's start to solder these guys here in. Where's my solder? Thanks. Best setup upgrade I got was a bigger desk. I have a decently sized desk right now, but I don't know if I want to go deeper. I don't know if I want to. How's the fitment of switches in the uh, FC plate? It was effortless. Um, very, very easy to get these guys popped in. So A plus there. Wasn't snug, wasn't really tight. One thing I'm gonna do is just fit these guys a bit better there, perfect. I'm gonna solder in our four corners. Because there is uh, flex cuts with this, so I just wanna make sure our corners are at the very least like flush. My TV is mounted just above my monitors and I always use like to watch media. I see a lot of people doing that with their setups too. And I don't know if I could personally do that. Really want to uh, plan to learn. Oh, my first soldering experience? So nerve wracking. The very first time I soldered anything, I low key was kind of nervous and I was shaking a lot. Um, but then I only did a few switches. That was my first off screen soldering experience. On screen, it went completely different. I don't know, I was talking to you guys. And it had like, obviously you guys talking with me and took a lot of stress off me. So it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. It was not bad at all. It was pr probably a really good experience to be honest. A really, really good experience. Just solder something small first. Yeah, break the nervousness. I agree with that. Wholeheartedly agree with that, dude. You gotta break that like little cycle of being nervous. Because there is flex cuts, guys, I am just soldering in one pin on a few switches just to make sure everything lays flat and perfectly. Uh, first time soldering, you put two, yeah, dude, I also put so much solder per, um, per pin originally. So I thought it would make it like extra secure. Obviously that's not true. Just made it a mess. Yeah, you can get soldering practice kits too. You can even just like buy a cheap PCB. If you really want to make sure you're doing things right, buy a cheaper PCB. Really get the hang of it that way. That way there, it's, it's not as big of a deal. Sh Shelby versus Akuma. Kind of sad I missed the Shelby, but Akuma colors seemed way nicer. I think Akuma is done already. From what I understand, the group I was only an hour long. Unsure why, but I think it's done, right? But the Akuma was fine. Yeah, one hour, yeah. My dad has a soldering kit. Yeah, I think if you have a soldering kit, you're already good to go. But yeah, soldering is not hard at all. In fact, it's very, very easy. It was limited to 500 units. From what I read in Mighty Setup's thing though, it didn't sell out in an hour. So I think they're just fronting the other side of it. I was wondering if you had any tips on making my board sound less plastic, plasticky. I have a Ginkgo 65 with Wuche Clear switches on a PC plate. Um, you wanna know my honest opinion on that? It's probably your PC plate. So I would swap to an aluminum. And I, I think that's probably not what you want to hear. But uh, the PC plate's probably causing your plasticky sound signature. The foam won't help at all. 
The foam's not gonna make it sound more like aluminum or poppy or whatever you're looking for. Perhaps some tape mod. Maybe that's the easiest thing you can try. Perhaps that's it. This week, uh, a week for L's, Mr. Onakuma, L on Key Club Raffle, and the reigning L's in the Jane V2. Was there like a sale on Jane's? I wasn't even aware of that, to be honest. I know, Darren, probably not the response you wanted to hear, which is switch the whole plate, but perhaps even try the tape mod. Sometimes that can help like brighten up. Where did the sun come from? It was like literally raining two minutes ago. Brighten up your sound signature a little bit. Have you ever tried lavender keyboard with beige keycaps? I literally tried that the other day. It looks so good. I don't think it was on stream though. If you need confidence to learn solder, watch uh, Black Simon Soldering Guide. He breaks it down and makes you more confident. Good guy, Simon. It honestly isn't tough, guys. It's one of the easier things out there. Average day in Toronto? Yeah, seriously. Mixed in with all the construction around the city, constantly under construction. I bricked three USB-C kits so far. Huh? Wait, how have you done that? This board looks pretty neat. I agree. Three kits? I did visit Toronto last year and discovered it's constantly under construction. It's infuriating, honestly. Again, I'm not a construction worker. I don't know the logistics of it. Um, but this is how it goes. They start one zone of construction. They block all this traffic. Now it's congested. Then for like six months, it's just sitting there under, like, under construction with nobody visiting it. And it just feels like they go from area to area to area, starting it, leaving it. And then it's just like, it's just not, you, no one's there for like six months, but it's all piloned off everything. I don't know what it is. It, and it just makes it so, I, I know I'm like, um, there's an area like near where I used to live that's just under construction constantly. And it's just, it's impossible to get through places. And the construction's crazy. Downtown, the way the streets changing directions go from two ways to one. Yeah, that's also annoying too. It, it's wild, man. Just one subway station. What happened? I wish Canadian. I wish I was Canadian. It's fun being here for sure. Like the construction. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like, man, I wish. I wish that someone better, better planned this. Sad music, cause honestly, it's so. I, I take the bus, right? I try to participate, and you know, first of all, I don't really. I'm not really confident in driving, but I take the bus. And it's not even the bus's fault. It's just the amount of sheer construction. I hear popping from your soldering. It's probably just this touching things, but it shouldn't be popping. There should be no popping at all. Do you guys hear popping from my, my solder? I don't hear anything. Any linear switches recommend? Oh dude, there are so many good linear switches. This hobby is uh, not short on good linears. at all is that a bad thing usually if it's solder is popping it's probably too hot and splattering everywhere can only hear the desk mat popping off yeah this is such a cute desk pad smile dude gabe thank you so much for the two months hopefully you're having a good day today dude this beautiful beautiful sunday although it was raining earlier but still beautiful Still absolutely beautiful, dude. Pink Robin's good as stock. Yeah, they are good stock. From what, I, from what I've tried, they're pretty darn good stock. 
Gotta go, Alex. Have a good stream. Take care, Ahmed. Thanks for being here. One thing though, if you guys are gonna do start soldering, please pick up proper ventilation for your room. Solder outside if you're only doing one or two builds, like ever. Um, just don't breathe in this shit, please and spank you. <clears throat> I like clacky switches. So do I. We have something in common. You like the clack. Don't tell me what to do. Sorry, Maximus, my bad. I used to straw uh, to suck up the solder fumes. Okay. Dude, you know what I roll my eyes at? But uh, I know it's I know it's for a reason and I get it and all that stuff. You know one thing I still roll my eyes at every single time I'm handed one? You know what I'm, you know what it is? Paper straws. Paper straws at a fast food restaurant and you put it in and the straw lasts maybe 15 minutes before it starts to crumple down and break down inside your drink. I get it, but at the same time, it sucks, man. Literally one of the worst things. On purpose, so you woof it down? Yeah, pretty much. But it saves the environment. I know, I know it's good for things. I understand the benefits, the paper straws, but. God damn, is it annoying. You can eat it after you finish your drink. Blech. Yeah, I also don't like the feeling of it either. They give uh, that to movie theaters and I just ask them for five straws. Oh, yeah, because when you, yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, actually, do, during a movie, I can't say I've ever had my straw in for more than an hour when it's a paper straw. I can imagine it being pretty withered down towards the end. Can't imagine, though. Honestly, honestly sometimes uh, when I get paper straws, I won't even... I, I, I'm considered and tempted to not even use a straw and just open the lid and just drink it like a normal cup. Couldn't be arsed. There's a place, um, oh God, now it's getting super bright again in this room. Okay. Oh, if, it, if it's super bright some more, we'll just turn down the cameras. On the YouTube short where you recommend the Tiger 80, which plate switches does it come? Uh, have, I have PC plate and switches. I, you can use anything you want. I think long poles work really well with it. Helps bring out some of the loudness of the keyboard. b Chan, thank you so much for your prime, dude. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. So that's like a quality issue. I've had paper straws that have lasted hours. Patty, I'm jealous, first of all. Second of all, from where? I've only gotten bad paper straws. Ebomaker TH66, it's a pre-built 90-ish euros. Beginner budget 65? Um, honestly, why not start with that? I mean, if you end up hating the way it sounds, the fun part about keyboards is you can mod them, right? But you have to remember too, like, if you are looking for something that's a bit more premium, there's no shame in saving up some extra dough too, just to be able to get the one that you actually want, right? There's literally no shame in that. Darren, thank you so much for the prime, dude. I appreciate the three months. Thank you, thank you, man. I, I personally, I'm a firm believer that I would rather save up a little bit of extra cash to buy the thing that I actually want versus something that I might not like in five months or that might not last me as long or if I'm gonna end up making another purchase anyways, I'd rather save and be more financially responsible that way. During your last stream, how general, wait, how did General F Stab manage to make you lick the Zoom? He uh, ended up, I think he donated $20. Guys, I'm not licking the keyboard today. The, 
I don't want to lick no more keyboards. I'm I'm probably gonna I probably have stuff wrong with me now that I've licked licked so many keyboards. Hey Alex, you convinced me to go for the sonnet over the Tiger 80. Uh, now I gotta figure out how to my config. Can I share your perspective weight to plate material? I would personally pick aluminum plate or FR4. Um, the weight, I would personally pick a brass or copper, just something a bit heavier. Um, strictly for sound. And then for switches, I think the Sonnet works well with just about everything. I would pick KTT Roses personally, or if you're looking for something a bit more loud, like what I have, go with a long pull switch. Any long pull switch will do. Maybe not Epsilons, because those have some issues with their leaks. And I, I hate the little chatter that comes with the, the leaf problem. Aluminum's gonna have a bit more of a metallic sound. I feel like FR4 is just as good, but it's, it's a little bit more tame sound signature wise. For pre-ordering the 80 so early this year. Ah, don't kick yourself, it's a good keyboard. It's a good board, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Did I get all the switches soldered in? Missed one right there. I love our four long poles. Same here. It's good. It's a nice little combo. It is indeed a good little combination of things. Did we get it all? I think we did. We are good. Oh, really? Do a lot of people accidentally call me that? <laughs> so nice. Joey, thank you so much for the uh, tier one. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Your fan and the honey switches are fantastic. Everything today is a fantastic match. I'm just letting you guys know, like, everything's matching today. I don't, I don't know why. I didn't plan it like that. <sighs> All right. Let's start the keyboard. Let's put this guy in. Is it just me or is this camera a bit wonky? Hold on, I'm gonna turn this off and on. What's that? Oh, that's better. That's so weird. <laughs> Even the fume extractor is matching? Kinda. All right, let's move this out of the way. What's this, JK? <laughs> Full throttle and the ax axle, axle toll. How do you even pronounce that word again? The Omni type merch? Bro, Garrett sent me this and I, I don't know why I just fell in love with the shirt. Legitimately fell in love. This is such an interesting, interesting little JST connector. How easy is this to put in? Let's see. I will now find out. Does it get pushed in? How does this work? Oh, wow. This just, wait, this is so easy to push in. So this little JST connector doesn't slide in. It just gets like pushed in. Wait, that's so cool. It's pushed, yeah, it's pushed in. Cool. All right, we have to put our gaskets on. What did you recommend again, uh, Archetype? And Gabe, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate you gifting Void a tier one. You said to put the heavier ones on Oh, this goes this way. The top, you said? Or was it the bottom? The way, that way if you yank it, you won't scrape your cable. That's so smart. Heavier, so teal is the heavier one, right? Or did you say gray was? Hi, hi Toasty. This is such a cool keyword. Super easy to build too, which is awesome. Applaud, you guys know I love that. Love super easy to build keyboards. Cool gasket config here. This is fun. Oh, knocked one off by accident. And this just gets put inside these little grooves here. Cool. That is super neat. I'm gonna put all the gaskets in this one little bag so I don't lose them. Putting the top case on? Really? Oh, if I could offer you one suggestion archetype, 
Is this just a little bit too... Okay, you know what actually, this kind of works. You can do this with the top case. You can lift the top case up just a little bit and slide. Oh, and then they got this side. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do just to make this easier for myself? This is one thing I still don't love about some of these boards, but I think there's a little bit of interference happening with the, the switch top. Yeah, this is something that happens very, very often. So we're just gonna clip the switches a little bit here because I don't want to deal with this uh, too much today. Thoughts on Owl Labs tungsten? They're good, I have no problems with them. So if we can get this one here to slip on, we should be fine. Yes, because then we can just slide that one there in. Perfect. And now we'll just have to push everything in together like this, like so. This needs to get pushed in. There we go. You should be able to pass the top case through without clipping the switch. I think it was just getting caught on this one, so maybe if I fiddled around with it, we can slide it in. But that wasn't as bad. You know why it's not as bad? The bottom switches don't interfere with any, or the bottom screw-in parts don't interfere with any switches. So you can technically slide it in from the top. So not as bad, I will say that. Definitely not as bad. That is uh, frustrating sometimes with some of those. Okay, let's get the nice little screws here. Oh, that's the wrong bit. We have this guy here. Hi club, how you doing? And let's screw all this in. What a pretty looking keyboard this is, guys. Uh, another question, archetype. Are these screws able to be magnetized? I don't know if that's possible with these. Screws will be magnetized? Oh, you're so beautiful. Love you, dude, for that. It's so frustrating without magnetized screws, guys. Spacebar is the best I, at the, uh, it's nice. The Spacebar is the best I have at the moment. Which, for which one? Perfect. Shelby uh, family is a menace to the community. <laughs> Thomas Shelby. These switches sound good. I have never used them before. I mean, gonna be honest guys, a lot of linears sound pretty good. Oh, there's already a screw there, I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of linears already sound pretty good, so it's very rare that you get a bad sounding linear switch. Very, very rare, like extremely. Did I miss a screw somewhere? Oh yeah, on that side. Okay. Cool. This looks pretty. All right, let's start putting GMK Lux on this. How was your experience with Epsilons? I also had a ton of leaf ping. Um, that's kind of why I don't really care for Epsilon switches. I, 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 a lot of people hype them up, dude. And for me, oh wait, let's do one more thing before I forget. These things. These things, the badge that goes here on the back. The Epsilon switches for me though, eh, I don't know. You have any opinion on non uh, mouse pad material desk pads like leather or cork? Dude, here's my, my hot take, no, not hot take, here's my honest take on this. Modern mice are so good with their sensors. If you buy a good mouse, you can literally use just about any sensor, anything you want. Hell, sometimes when I'm playing games, I don't even have a mouse pad. In fact, 
sometimes I prefer not to play on a mouse pad. So it never matters to me and majority of sensors these days, it literally doesn't matter. Which way should I go here? These are all magnetic. Should I do white on the end? These don't serve any other function guys. They're just accent badges. Should I do like white? Black will do last, I guess. Is that why you suck at TFT? Why is Toasty here? <laughs> why is Toasty here right now dissing me up, bro? Don't suck at TFT, I'm just not that great, okay? That's cute, I think this is a nice little combination. House config is orange, yellow, black, white, white. Can I just do this config? I think this is kind of cool. Should I do black in the middle though? I don't know. What do you guys think? Halloween candy, kinda. Do you know uh, any good competitors to the NK87 Alu? There's a, I mean, there's a lot of good, um, a lot of good uh, TKLs right now. So many. I'd say the biggest competitor to any TKL at the moment, probably the Tiger 80. Toasty, I love you, come back. I'm sorry if I scared you away. Toasty, please. Oh, wow. What the fuck? I don't know if you guys can see this, but this thing is moving. Hold on, I might wanna just put a little bit more lube in the left room. Okay, let's just put it all assembled and then we'll, I'll tune the stabs afterwards. I usually like doing that last. Um, do we do accent? Do we do accent keycap for this though? I'm not sure if we want to do accent keycap for this. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the last part for that. I don't know if I wanna do accents. Yes, please, for accent. Should we do a poll? I don't know if accent will look good or not. Do it for infinite power? Is accent the way? This is GMK Lux, yeah. I don't know, is that is accent the way? All black, no, yeah, should we do a poll? Chozo, you wanna do a poll? Wait, what did Chozo say? Yes, please, to accent? Should we just, should we just, I think I might give in to Chozo today, guys. Maybe we do no poll, no poll, give in to Chozo. Oh wow, this has some serious movement with it. If accent uh, is case color, don't use act. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Let's do the, this last, literally do the last. I don't mind doing it like the very last thing that we do. You could put both of them. I mean, I could. I could if I really, really wanted to. Mm, where is the control? This is one, con no, that's the wrong control. Is it this one? Uh, Alts. Short shift. Control. And we got backspace. Uh, anyone's thoughts for which keyboard color it would work good with Jim K. Zudit? Is that pale green? I can't remember, what's Zudit again? Is it green and purple? How does that look? Where's the other alt and control? God, I really didn't manage these keycaps all that well. Here's, oh, that's another tab. Um, here's caps lock. Price of this board starts at 470. So with shipping, I'd say in and around what? Actually, we'll do effort, we'll do FP fair. In and around uh, 500 plus dollars. Lilac with Zudit, the weed board. Yeah, it's like a pale green, right? I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't actually have a good color combo for that. Hello? Hello? All right. Where's my scoop keys? How's the fitment so far for keycaps um, on the stems? 
these stems, I mean, they fit, they seem to be fitting very snug, if I'm being honest. But I don't think that's obviously not a bad thing. They seem a lot more snug than I was gonna kind of like give it credit for, because you know, be honest, sometimes keycaps just fall off and on. And kind of, I don't know if that's sometimes a bad or good thing, but. Uh, just a note with on the flex, we felt like the board utilizes mounting points by the space bar, kind of kills the board. Uh, we opted out of a mounting point near the space bar. I mean, I've always said that archetype, so you don't have to give me any explanation. I feel like there's if there's a mounting point near a space bar, um, it completely dies. Like the keyboard sound profile ends up being so boring. Even with gaskets, uh, not always, but I've always thought that. So it's kind of cool to see that. Kind of gives it a lot, like a lot of flex too, which is kind of cool. Oh, I could have just used. Okay, let's just do this. Where are these scooped keys? Where are my scooped F and J? I don't know where they are. Thank you. I appreciate you guys for the the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Cosmic. All nice suggestions. Might just go with lilac. Lilac might look really nice. Yeah. Thank you for the Long. bits, Cosmic. Oh my god, 500 bits. Bro, thank you, dude. What the heck? I appreciate you, man. Oh, here's the scoops. Thank you, thank you, bro. Hydrate, I got you. So if I don't screw in the plate on the top mount around the space bar, it will sound better? No, because it might rattle. You know what you could do? As you could... Ah. I don't know if you want to destroy your board, you could just chop it off. I've done that with boards. I've completely chopped off mounting boards near uh, space bars. Completely, that's a B. <clears throat> Axe and arrows? What? What are we doing? Dude, it's getting too bright in this room. So I might have to go close some shades. Might have to. <clears throat> Alex, you animal? What I do? What did I do this time? I'm always up to something, but I'm not sure what. Um, oh, chopping off things? I don't know. There are certain boards I've done that to, and it's completely helped. You can try by obviously being less destructive. You don't have to chop off something right away. But I've definitely done that before. And I think you guys have wit witnessed me do that, especially on like FR4 plates. Your room is nice, thank you. Next, Osame keycap set is gonna be based off the pastel colors in Alex's room. It's really bright, right? You can see like the sun's come out now and it's completely overthrowing everything in my room. Is it C here or is, yeah, C here. Combo for detriment? Detriment, you know why it's so bright outside? I know it's cause you're smiling, my guy. You don't have to tell me twice. I know it's because you're smiling. Thank you so much for being here, Detriment. Love you, dude. Hopefully you're having a great day. And hopefully everything in your life's going amazing right now. Yeah, it is really bright. I might go, I might get up here in a second and close some shades. Give me one moment. I just want to put the keycaps on. Um, Literally blushing so hard right now. Oh, God yeah. Damn, dude. Cosmic, thank you so much for three gifted tier, tier two subs. Thank you, Cosmic. I appreciate that, man. What the heck? Cosmic? Bro, what are you doing? Been waiting for this keep a long time. I can't wait till release. Yeah, it's really pretty. I have to admit, it does look really, really good. Dude, I should really put these keycaps in order. It's a little confusing. This is not supposed to go here. What am I doing? Don't ask me questions. Uh, Scuffed mustache zoom? With this bright ass room? Okay, okay. Time for the Zoom. Uh, people are actually so generous. Yeah, dude, you guys are actually really kind and really generous. Thank you guys so fucking much. I really appreciate you guys. Dad, I finally found you? Where? What's going on, dude? It's Zoomed, but it's really scuffed. Uh, Pikachu Artisan would go nice with the build. I don't think I have any here. I might have had some at my old place, but I don't believe I have any Pikachu Artisans with me at the moment. Five and three. 
Hydrate? One sec, Geo. Geo's always getting me with the hydrates. Okay, guys. Just say yes or no. Accent? Yes or no. Or is that too much? I'm honestly not sure. I'm seeing a lot of yeses and I'm also seeing a lot of noes. But I'm seeing more yeses, it looks like. No for me, no, no, no. Actually, there's a lot of no's. Hmm, interesting. What key am I missing here? The last one? God damn, where is it? Where on earth is this last key cap? Is it this one? Uh oh, where's my last little key cap for this? Oh, right here. By the keyboard? Yeah, I, just, I honestly wasn't even looking. Some, I'm seeing a lot of no's. Actually, no. I voted yes. It looks like a no. Was there a poll? Did Chosen run a poll on this? Did I miss it? All right, let's see with, without. Where's the escape? Am I missing the escape? The regular ass one? Did I take that out of the kit and put it somewhere that I didn't realize? Huh? Oh, here it is. Okay. Without. While well, you guys look at this and tell me what you guys think, I'm gonna go close the shades. Is it too much yellow? I think it might be too much yellow. Oh gosh. It looks so much cleaner. Yeah. Without, I think without. 34 no's and five yeses. Sorry, Chozo. I do agree, it kind of does look a lot cleaner without them. All right, where's F1? Chozo's never gonna show up in my streams again. I said, please, I know. Here, we'll swap it later off, okay? For you, Chozo, for you. I'll leave him here. Okay. Look at this. This is looking pretty fresh right now. I like this. This looks great. These, this, this is a cool idea of using these as like badges. Will you sell extra colors of these? Ooh. Archetype, this is quite nice. So some changes happening for the final rendition from what I understand is a much better finish on the Utem top. Uh, I can, now that we have the board assembled, see there is some fogging and even a line over here. So that is all apparently gonna be uh, sandblast it. Although it actually doesn't look terrible as it is right now. I would still be pretty happy with this. I see it from my fingerprints everywhere, but um, this will have a better, uh, what's it called, finish to it. Magnetic screws, which I think are gonna be important. And I think that's really the major things. So far, I think some really nice things. I like the inclusion of the um, daughter board in this. That, the, the whole drop-in instead of plug-in, very, very nice. I know it's super small, but I, I think that's super important. Um, the gasking system is really fun on this keyboard too. Definitely kind of unique. Definitely a cool keyboard. There's no foam in this for anyone wondering. I don't know how much um, the honey switches are. Let's see, let's see what this is gonna sound like though. Let's plug it in, first of all. <clears throat> Let's see what this will sound like, guys. So we're using the forged carbon fiber on this guy here with the honey switches. I can already tell you guys, I already like the sound of this. We're not using feet, too. All right, let's see what we use. Hmm. Ooh, the space bar is really nice.
The space bar has a really nice like, it's unique, a little bit more unique. I don't think I don't think foam would be even needed in this in the, in the slightest. It's solid alphas too. It's good contrast. I like the backspace. That's really nice. Dude, this is really nice. Okay, I don't want to touch these. I don't need to bound to. Dude, this is actually really nice. I have to admit, This is a very like, how can I word this? It feels like a very full sound. You know what I mean? Do you wanna do with feet? Should we do with feet now? It feels like a very nice full sound without the need for anything else like modding wise, which is ideal in a keyboard. The space bar is fantastic. I like that a lot. Really cool ideas with this, uh, this keyboard here. We'll do the, we'll do the, um, feet now. Where should I put them? I'm assuming like maybe here. Sounds focused. Yeah, a little bit. It sounds very nice and full. The space, the space bar is, I think giving it a lot of character as well. It feels amazing by the way. This feels really, really good to type on. Very, very soft for anyone who wants a softer experience. I think even if we used all the firmer gaskets, this would still be a very... It's weird, I kind of like it without the feet. Is there a difference or am I just imagining things? No, this sounds really good still. You know, maybe I do like it like more like this. Is there a difference, guys? There's a difference. Maybe I'm just going crazy. It still sounds super full. Like, I'm super, super happy with this. I don't think there is actually. I really, really like this. Placebo. I think it's definitely placebo. Dude, that sounds really good. The only thing I would personally change about this board, not even the board itself, I would probably just put 55 gram springs. That, that's literally it. I would change the springs to 55 gram. That would be my only thing I probably would do with this board. Just cause I'm a little bit of a, oh, you know what keycap set would look really good with this? Mickland. Mickland would look sick on this colorway. Unfortunately, that's not out quite yet, but. FR4 build next week. We could do that. We could do something. Maybe not next week, probably the week after, because I won't be here next week for most of the week. XOS versus Mode Sonnet. I picked the Sonnet. This board is not yet run. Not yet. Mm, I don't think accents are it, guys. Do you think accents are it? Here's my thoughts though. Obviously the, the finish is gonna get better. That's what Archetype's saying. And he's gonna, I think he said he's gonna post photos of the finish or I, th I think, I don't know. Did you say you're gonna post photos of the finish or something? Uh, the new finish? And there's no real other glaring issues with this board at all. And I think the feet he said were changing, there's gonna be slotted feet from what I understand. Um, I think this is a really good buy if you're looking for this type of layout with the macro column, six or 60 plus macro. 
and you want something that sounds good without the need of any modding, which is not a rare thing per se, but it is quite nice. But this is insanely soft to type on. Pretty unique in a lot of ways too. Update it finish, oh, there you go. Smoother and less chalky. Okay, that's exactly what you want. So I, I don't know, I think if you were aiming for a board, oops, if you were aiming for a board that had just about like everything in it, this might be a really, really fun kit to pick up. They do nothing. They, they're just accent badges. Which plate do you prefer, carbon fiber or polycarbonate? I, if I were to pick, it'd be carbon fiber. And honestly, even between FR4 and carbon fiber, I don't know if there would be a difference. However, if I do change this out and go with the FR4, I'm gonna be spring swapping all these switches to a 55 gram. Just because I personally like this a bit more with 55 gram springs. I love accents, but on this one here, no accents is definitely cleaner. Yeah, I'm gonna take them off again. FR4 really shines with this board. You think more so than carbon fiber? Because I have always felt they're very, very similar in terms of sound signature. I've always felt that. Gets a bit louder and a tiny bit stiffer. Interesting. I think Cherry Ember would look good on this. I think there's a lot of keycaps that would probably look good on this. I would be even curious to see what uh, a white keycap set would look on this too. Very nice though. I think this is awesome. Uh, carbon fiber. We haven't changed it at all. Do you think CF's always a bit softer? Interesting. I, I like the forged carbon fiber because it does look good too, but you're not gonna be seeing that. You can see the gaskets peeking through, which is kind of cool. I've never minded that. Thought that's also always been like a cool thing to look. Tatooine would look good too, yeah. Tatooine would look sick. I think CF Flex is more than FR4. I wish I tested that before. Can't test it now, unfortunately. Really good looking board, definitely go with the accents. Really? I don't know, man. I'm so torn now. I'm so torn. Everyone's telling me different things with these key, with these uh, accents and not accents. There probably will be Big Bizzle. Tato I could try uh, SA when we're doing photos of this. I think this turned out sick though. I think this is an awesome keyboard. Um, definitely unique too. I think even the, um, if you guys are interested in the bottom of the keyboard too, this is really fun to look at too, man. This is really cool. I like this. It looks good from just about every angle. So yeah, there's, dude, there's so many colors for this keyboard too. Here, let me show you guys real quick. We'll switch up views. Look at this. Look at the colors on right here. We have uh, Amber and Heritage, which is the same tops, the Ultum tops, but you can see like the white definitely shines through a little bit for that Ultum top. Uh, we have Ghost. I think the Whisper is really cool too. Like this looks sick. That looks sweet. Uh, moss is so pretty too. So this is an anodized top and an, like aluminum top and bottom. Uh, smoky PC, which is kind of cool too. Blue I'm whatever with. I like the red. I've never, uh, you guys know me. I just don't give a fuck about blue. Onyx is kind of nice. Graphite's kind of nice too. I picked graphite over black. The E beige, that's a hot color. I will personally pick E beige too. Saffron's really pretty. Dude, E Orange is gorgeous. There needs to be more orange keyboards in this hobby. Love that. Uh, Acid's actually really cool too. Same with Ember. Ember's really sick. Smoky Gray PC with a bottom of E Orange. Um, this one here is okay. I don't know if I love this one, but Storm is really pretty too. The bottom's pur uh, purple PC and it's a smoky uh, black PC. I personally love this. This is probably one of my one of my first choices. I would want the orange one or the E beige, uh, but Heritage is really pretty too. Um, Whisper is sick and Moss is super sick. A lot of interesting combos with this though. So many interesting combos. Whisper plus Osemi Dalgone. Oh yeah, that would look nice. Hi Frank, how you doing? Hello, hello. Do you think CF makes for a softer sound profile than PC? No. PC would be softer. Typically, typically. Heritage Whisper and Storm are definitely the best. Yeah, a lot of cool colors. That's the other thing too, right? A lot of fun colors with this keyboard. I have to keep reminding myself uh, what I want. Yeah, again, little side note. You can talk to me about, everyone can be upset for me, me always bringing this up, but if you guys can't afford it, don't buy it. 
there's literally no purpose of purchasing something you cannot afford. Like there's absolutely no reason you guys should be spending money when you can't. Um, remember to be financially responsible. Keyboards are a luxury good at the end of the day, even this. I love Archetype, but you know, have to, we have to remember that. Um, so if you guys are debating with whether purchasing this keyboard or paying rent, probably pay rent. Uh, probably buy groceries, you know? Something to remember, because $500 is definitely not cheap. Um, but yeah, that's it. How do you rate the Iron 165 in the class of, the, in the world of 165s, or in 65s? Um, I think there's some issues with it uh, that should be addressed. I think overall, once you get the keyboard assembled and ignore some of the issues, I think it's a good sounding keyboard with certain configs. It's a bit stiff. Um, the gaskets still kind of do their job though, but I think there's some uh, glaring issues that should be worked out with the polycarbonate version and the screws and some other stuff and the weight being too loose. And again, stuff that I don't think should happen with a keyboard that that, that, pri that price point. Other than that, I think the sound profile is fine. I think the feeling of its preference, but one of those, it's just one of those keywords where I'm just like, hey, you know, it's whatever. A nice visual piece. Oh yes, there's also that toasty. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, 165 or 180, I would personally pick the 180 because it had less problems. Um, <laughs> Also, I don't even know if I'd want the 180 because the bezels aren't kind of small or not the bezels, the blockers are kind of small and it kind of threw me off even when I was taking pictures of it. So I don't know, man, I think it's just preference at that point. Yeah, the blocker threw me, dude, when I was taking photos of it, I literally went back and took so many pics. I'm like, what is wrong with me? Like, why am I? And then I remember there was a blocker spacing issue or problem or apparently by choice but it didn't look, it didn't look right. Like it was a bit jarring. <laughs> what about the 360? I heard Teha got one of those recently. Prod, he's never gonna come back streaming after that fucking diss up, bro. Holy shit, bro. But yeah, that's the rumor, bro. He's, he went on, he said he went on, uh, he said he went on vacation for his honeymoon, but Tell me how it was right after you got 360 no scope, bro. Uh, are you, uh, you'd be a Windows key, a Windows keyless buyer for 180? Yeah, I'm a Windows keyless guy. I like WKL. I love WKL keyboards. <laughs> all right though, guys, <laughs> that's pretty much it for the Sunday stream today. Uh, thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Overall, I like the board. The only thing again was the finish, but which is getting fixed anyways. Anything that I had criticisms about today was already preemptively like done. Oh, I have resonance. I should have just used that. That's okay. We'll use it another day. Maybe we'll do it for the second build or something. Maybe we'll just do it for them. But let's raid, uh, let's raid Booth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream today. We're gonna be doing another stream tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday. Then I'm gonna be off for five days. Uh, I th oh no, four days for just a break. So then after four days, we'll be streaming again for like six days. Um, and we'll go back to normal stream schedule. Thank you so much for tuning in though, guys. I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you all for tuning in and for the subs and for the follows. I love you guys. I'll have this VOD up on YouTube with Manoli next week or maybe later this week, but uh, take care everybody. Love you guys and tune in and tune in next time, but enjoy Booth's stream. Peace out everybody.